Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Home Assistant Core running in Docker, which is Home Assistant Container. Um, this is how I run one of my Home Assistants, so I really like this way, and I think it's very versatile. Um, so I'm going to be going over in parts, so each service that I add to my Docker and Pose, it's going to be a part. So um, at the end of this series, you should have a fully working Home Assistant Core running in Docker. And this isn't HAOS, which is Home Assistant OS, and it's fully managed. But I, I really like to manage things myself, and I think it's easier sometimes. So um, I'm going to be using Portainer for this. So it, it'll be managed in Portainer. Um, so if you like this idea, uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So today I'll be installing the container way right here and um, I'll be installing Home Assistant Container and this is a good explanation. So it's a standalone container based installation of Home Assistant Core and, uh, in Docker. So it's a Docker file. Um, it doesn't have some things. It has automations, dashboards, integrations, blueprints, and it uses a, cont a container. Uh, it does not have supervisor, so the updates are not handled, but you can just uh, update the Docker uh, image and you'll be fine. Uh, the uh, the add-ons are just Docker containers uh, transform into an add-on. So now it does have a backups too. Um, the managed restore it does not have and the managed operating system. And um, you can just manage your own operating system. Um, so Docker just runs on top of the operating system like Ubuntu or Debian. And I'll be using uh, Debian uh, 12. Um, so um, I, I, I'll be going over in this uh, a series uh, to where I'll have parts. So part one, part two, and part three. Each part will add a new service to the Docker Impose. And at the end of the series, you should have a fully working Home Assistant uh, core installation on Docker. Um, so that's what we will be installing today. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over the search and type, um, a cont container. And then not, now you'll see Home Assistant Container Series. So I'm going to go into it and you'll see part one, installing Home Assistant Container. I'm going to go into it. It has a Docker and Pose, so I'm going to go into that. So services and then the first service underneath the services is called big bear home assistant the image is coming off of docker by default because there's no year before this and this is the docker image this is the docker image tag and then the the container names uh, are gonna, are gonna be called big bear home assistant and this is so docker doesn't have generate a random name and then now the environment uh, of variables so it's gonna have tz which is a time zone and it's set to UTC right now, but you can re replace it with your own time zone in this format. So now volumes, HA config data, and that's a local volume that's defined right here. And then on the container side is config. So do not change the container side. Um, so var run dbus, and that's on the host side. And then on the container side is the same, and then it's read only. Restart unless stop, so that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then now ports, so uh, so 8123 is on the host side, and then on the container side is the same. Do not change the container side. And then now networks, Big Bear Home Assistant Network. Um, so it's defined right here. It's a bridge network. And then now cap add. And we're going to add net admin and net raw. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this set up. So now when you're in your portainer, I'm going to go to local stacks and then add stack up here. And then I'm going to name this stack HA stack. So stacks are just using Docker and pose underneath. So it's using the Docker engine. 
So I'm going to go down to the web editor right here. I'm going to paste in what I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets with the part one. Um, so now I'm going to go down here and deploy the stack. So now it's deployed and it's up and running. So now I'm going to go over the stack. So if you go in the stack, um, you'll see stack up here, an editor, and stop the stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack. And you can go in an editor over here and you can uh, edit the Docker Compose, which we will do in each uh, in, in, in each part to this series. So now you can come down here and update the stack. And you'll see an option right here to repull image and redeploy. And that means it repulls it off the registry and then redeploys it. And this is so um, if you're using the latest tag, you can get the, uh, the latest changes from the developer that pushed to this latest tag with just check marking this and then pressing update. So, and now you'll see the containers in the stack and what we have one container in the stack and we can go into it we can see actions up here for the container. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate. So that's edit. And then you can see the status down here. So ID, the name, the status. It's been up for three minutes. And then created, start time, logs, inspect, stats, console, and then attach. And then now you can see access control down here. Create image. And then the container details like image, ports. So on the host side, you'll see 8123 right here. And then on the container side is 8123. And then the command entry point, the environment variables right here. And then labels. And then the restart policy. I would change the restart policy on the Docker and pose over here. Um, so you can go back to the stacks and then go back in the stack, the editor. And then you can change the restart policy right here. Um, so if you go back to the container, you can, um, and now see the volumes that were created. So the bind right here and then the local volume right here, and then the path on the container, uh, in the container, and then the connected networks, HA stack, big bear home system network. It created a bridge network for it down here. So if you want to see the volumes, you can see them over here and you can go into them. Um, if you want to see the images that were downloaded, you can go into here and then you can see that it downloaded a Linux server, home system, and the latest tag. So that's a little bit about an overview of Portainer. So now I'm going to go and set up home assistant. So I'm going to go to my Portainer's IP and then 8123. So now you can create a smart home. So I'm going to create it and then you can put a name in. I'm going to put a uh, admin and you can put whatever you'd like. I'm going to put a password and then I'm going to confirm the password and now a create a button lights up. So I'm going to cre uh, create and then now I'm going to next and then you can pick your country and this will uh, be important and then next and you can turn on basic analytics. You should statistical data and diagnostics if you like. I'm going to press next finish. And now we have Home Assistant set up. So in part one of this series, I went over fully getting uh, Home Assistant set up and working. So if you like this uh, series and idea, um, you can subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.